insurance institutions in efforts to increase the present 2% market penetration have been charged to deploy diverse means, including education for tertiary students, to debunk misconceptions about the sector. There is a general consensus that the insurance sector in Ghana is underperforming. Statistics from the National Insurance Commission indicate that insurance penetration as a percentage to GDP in Ghana was below 1.85% at the end of the first quarter of 2016 and 1.2% in the last quarter of 2017. A key reason for this is that majority of the country's workforce, the informal sector, is put off by expensive premiums and complex underwriting processes. This is, however, being corrected according to stakeholders. We have had the regulator, which is the National Insurance Commission, to come out with a claims protocol. Claims protocol implying that when a claims is settled, is when we say settled, is that it's been agreed that a claims is acceptable and blah, blah, blah. There is a space of time within which the insurance company must pay the claim rather than go and come and go and come. So that is regulated now. So the whole idea is to ensure that people get a fair deal from the insurance industry. Angela Ama is a component manager in charge of financial systems development at the GIZ and she outlines efforts they as partners have put in place to improve the low penetration. We did a campaign from 2020 thereabouts within the market women space within the 16 regions of Ghana talking about financial services and products especially insurance as a risk management tool for the markets looking at the various fires that happens a lot of times within these markets we wanted to orient the minds of market women onto risk management and being able to adopt insurance as a risk management tool that will protect their assets, not only that, but also their, the lives of these market women and their families. In line with this, GIZ, in collaboration with Primetime Productions, the Insurance Awareness Coordinators Group IACJ and Partners, held the Mating National Insurance Debate, which saw the Commander College of Education imagine overall winners. Apparently, I don't know anything about insurance. I'm a home economics student for that matter. I don't know anything. I got to know about insurance, I think, last three weeks. And I had to devote all my academic time to study insurance acts and insurance protocols. I didn't know anything about insurance. I'm just new to the insurance policy and everything in insurance. The penetration of education is very low. So we would entreat all the um, insurance companies that we are begging. They should educate the individuals, the people, the citizens in the country, because education is the key to the high penetration of uh, insurance in the country. So we are, begging, we are begging everyone. We are begging the industries, the agents, the brokers, everyone. They should do their best to educate the general public on the importance and benefits of insurance. It is the desire of insurance players in the country to embark on a more robust and effective drive to increase the right knowledge about insurance. We are looking at educating the public going further forward. So we decided that look, how the best way to do it is to involve students. We are originally wanted to start with the um, SHS, senior high school, but COVID time and you know, so we were not, act, we were not allowed into the, into the senior high school, but the investors agreed that they will do it. Because these are matured students, so we started there and this is the result of what you've seen. And this is, in my view, the beginning of, like I said earlier on, a real big thing in the universities and then gradually through all the institutions of 